Alrighty, hello you lovely people, welcome back all to the channel for the first time. My name is Scott Beeks and today we're going to be discussing the three types of tosses in round net. So before we get to the good stuff with the tosses, we first need to define the golden zone. Now the golden zone is where we make contact with the ball when we are serving. So if I'm here and I'm serving right-handed, I'm going to make contact here. That's where my arm is at full extension. And I'm going to make contact with the ball here with my right hand. And just like if I was going to do a left-handed serve, here is where I'm going to make contact. So these are our golden zones. And it's really important to understand that when we start talking about the toss in round net. We also need to understand the importance of the toss itself. Because this toss is the leading domino behind every successful serve. If you watch any top level athletes in the world, such as Thomas Hamilton, Ryder Riva, Laura Kunzelman, their toss is very consistent behind every serve. Because when they're serving, they need to have that repeatable and consistent toss to be able to perform consistent and high level serves. If for some reason their toss is here and then there and then there, it's now gonna be really hard to get consistent hand contact and consistently land it in that golden zone. So when we're serving, we must understand this toss is the leading domino and either sets you up for success or a struggle from the service line. So the first type of toss we have in round net is called the vertical toss. And this is where we're here at the seven foot line. We know our golden zone and we're now tossing this ball four inches below that golden zone and then tossing it in a vertical line upwards and meeting it in this golden zone when serving. Clark Marshall, Laura Kunzelman, Grant Laughlin, Ali Jenki. Many high level players opt for this type of toss because it gives you a high level of consistency from the seven foot line and is also a very easy toss to repeat and perform. Now, the second type of toss we have in round there is called the lateral toss. And this is when we're here again at our golden zone and we're tossing this ball from at least four inches inside our body so we can now toss it laterally into that golden zone and perform our serve. Players that we see do this type of toss, Vinnie Mathieu, Ryder Riva, Ryan Marino. So a couple of things to add on the lateral toss in round net. The first thing is, is when we're performing a lateral toss, it is harder to perform and to repeat than a vertical toss. Because when we are performing a lateral toss, we now must get more speed on the ball to fight against gravity to keep it in this golden zone and make contact when serving. Also, with this additional speed that we must get on this toss to keep it on this lateral line inside our golden zone, it now makes it harder for us to sink our swing with the ball when serving in round net. However, we also need to understand there's a lot of advantages to performing a lateral toss in round net. Despite it being harder to perform, if we're an ambidextrous server and serving with both hands, it therefore means our trigger time, and by trigger time I mean from going one way to then hitting the other way, is a lot, lot quicker when performing a lateral toss in round net. Because if we perform a vertical toss, we're now here, we now have to get this ball underneath the golden zone, toss it vertically up and swing. When if we fake and we go the other way, we now have to get it all the way across, get it underneath this golden zone up and then swing. Versus if we're here, we can now toss at the same time we load. And if we switch hands, when we switch from going to right to left, while the ball is traveling laterally is the same time we can load, which is why we see again so many high level servers, especially ambidextrous servers like Vinny, Thomas and Ryan perform this type of toss in round net. The third and final type of toss we have in round net is known as the phantom toss, but can also be referred to as the same hand lateral toss. And this is now just like in the name, we are tossing the ball with the same hand laterally that we are striking the serve with. Players that we see do this, myself, Blake Bozak, Wilbur Coney. So the things to know on a phantom toss is that it has the same advantages and disadvantages as the lateral toss, i.e. the trigger time of going one way to then hitting the other is a lot quicker versus doing a vertical toss. However, it is very hard to perform and to repeat, especially compared to the vertical toss that is very consistent and very easy to perform and to repeat in round net. Alrighty, so I will end today's video on again, emphasizing and highlighting how important the toss is in round net and making sure you understand that this toss either sets you up for success or a struggle from the seven foot line. So really take care and really try to understand it. We are also going to be going through the principles of the toss in the next video. So make sure to subscribe 
and like the video if you liked it. On that note, see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed.